your day with joy and happiness here on 90.9 FM Radio Baha'i, streaming at radiobaha'i.us. Sending you love, peace, and unity. This is 90.9 FM Radio Baha'i. It is yours truly, TJ Jones. Happy to be with you on today or tonight, whenever you're checking out this. Uh, we have a special guest with us here. Uh, she's been uh, on the show quite a few times here, um, been a part of uh, Radio Baha'i uh, interviews throughout the past, but she's back again to tell us a, a little bit about a wonderful event that's going to take place this weekend. And uh, a good friend of mine, Miss Tamika Obing. Tamika, how you doing? I am wonderful, TJ. How are you? I'm doing just fine. Uh, it's always great to hear from you. Uh, it, it seems like we talk like every quarter, you know, because uh, yep, yep. St. James Health and Wellness always has something uh, going on. But thank you so <laughs> much for uh, being here to talk to us a little bit about the Children's Health Fair that's sure. going to take place this weekend. Yeah, sure. Well, for everybody, good afternoon. My name is Tamika williams Bing, and I am the Outreach Coordinator for St. James Health and Wellness Incorporated. Um, so I am a community advocate, and uh, this week is really important to us um, staff at St. James Health and Wellness. So this is National Health Center Week, and for those who don't know, National Health Center Week is celebrated normally about the second week in August. And it's for um, all qualified or federally qualified healthcare centers, which is about possibly about 1400 healthcare centers within America. And so we have an outline, their daily events um, that we actually focus on. So we're gonna actually start honoring our patients. So if you're a patient of St. James on August 9th, you'll go into our facility and receive a special token of love. Um, then we go into our stakeholders appreciation where we celebrate and honor our stakeholders, our elected officials and uh, community members who have given back to St. James throughout this past year. And uh, then we also honor our staff. And uh, lastly, our finale would be our health fair, which is why I'm here today. Um, and that's gonna be taking place in Andrews. Yeah, yeah, uh, Andrews, South Carolina, like one of my favorite places to visit. Uh, we <laughs> did a health fair with you all back in Andrews. Uh, at, a, at a local church there. And that was a great mm -hmm. event. I mean, even though it rained, it still yeah. was inside and it was still a great turnout and uh, looking forward to uh, definitely, uh, you know, the event that's going to take place uh, this weekend in Andrews. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and back up a little bit um, before mm -hmm. we get into that and, and talk about all the things that is going to offer. Uh, let's, let's talk a little bit about you. Um, let, let everybody know, um, you know, are you are you from this, the South Carolina area? Yeah. And also, like, what, what got you involved in this? Because a lot of people may not know, but I mean, you got your hands on a lot of things within the community. And I uh, just want to know, like, what, what got you like interested in helping the community the way that you do? Sure. Well, I am a native of Georgetown originally. Um, of course, I traveled, left home uh, back in 1993, came back. Um, and so Georgetown, it just this is my hometown. Uh, both of my parents are native of Georgetown. Uh, my father from the city of Georgetown and my mother uh, from the outskirts, which is North Santee community. Uh, mm -hmm. My mother had some health issues early on and I saw how community rallied around her. Um, I was a very small girl, possibly three or four years old, but it never left my, my heart and my thought process to see how uh, churches rallied around her community organizations. And so for me, to whom much is given, much is required. Um, and so I've been given a lot from my community, from my church community um, to just uh, various organizations who really, um, who really just put a seed in me to always give back and never forget. So having this opportunity to work for St. James was just like a blessing for me. Um, I actually, my office is in the Sampit community, uh, right down the road from where I used to go up and pick blackberries. So this is like a full circle moment for me uh, right. to doing what I love to do every day. So when we're having uh, community events for, our, for health fairs, it just makes me excited. And hopefully my passion is infectious. Um, throughout the community. Um, I believe in the mission of St. James and what we stand for. And so this is what I, I live and what I do. Um, and so it's, it's, it's really a serious matter to me, um, healthcare um, and preventative healthcare, especially um, for the African-American community, Hispanic community, all communities. Uh, right. We wanna focus on preventative healthcare. And so that's what we're here for. Um, and so this event on Saturday 
will pretty much uh, not only highlight St. James and what we do, because uh, we will have health screenings um, at the health fair. Traditionally, we have A1C screenings, uh, blood pressure checks, uh, teeth varnishing uh, for the children, but we'll also have about 20 to 25 nonprofits. And so this is a way in which we shed light throughout our community. And so we have other vendors uh, that will also be there, such as Thailand's Health, uh, Miss Ruby's Kids, Black River United, um, so Children's Recovery uh, Center. So they're just a, a lot of folks that are actually on board with this event. And I'm just excited. Yeah. I mean, it is always a, a great event. Like I said, uh, I, I, we've uh, Radio Baha'i, we've been out there quite a few times for the different events that you have throughout, uh, you know, the, the Grandstand PD area. Mm -hmm. And it's always a great turnout. And, um, you know, something that you talked about, you know, the, the city of Georgetown, you know, the, the station is located in Hemingway, not too far from mm -hmm. there. And we get opportunity to just to go to some of these events in Georgetown. And it's a very close knit community. You can tell people wrap their arms around one another. They support one another. And I always just thought that was, you know, just a, a, a cool thing. You know, um, me not being from, you know, this area, I was born and raised in, in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. having an opportunity to move out here and just be able to be amongst the people in, in the community and see the love and see the support. And definitely what you all do with St. James Health and Wellness, uh, you know, trying to uh, bring a, a clean bill of health to the community. It's pretty Definitely. awesome. Um, well, yeah, yeah. we are a multi-site facility. So a lot of times we pretty much move around with our events. Mm -hmm. uh, so we had an event in May that was Cinco de Mayo, and that was right. actually within the city of Georgetown. And mm -hmm. so now we're going to go and do our uh, children's health fair in the town of Andrews. Right. And then this will be in the McClellanville area for our fall into health event in October. And so mm -hmm. um, out of seven sites that we have, uh, six of those sites are within Georgetown County. Right. So, um, you know, we're, we're pretty, um, pretty busy with, within Georgetown County. Yeah. But the town of Andrews has been so gracious, uh, mm. the mayor, the town administrator, yeah. and just the residents as a whole. So we're excited, uh, you know, to actually hold our health fair there. Uh, we've had great sponsorship uh, from the town of Andrews, along with our local um, businesses such as Food Lion, Piggly Wiggly, um, you know, there's a pizza shop, Tony's yeah. Famous Pizza. Oh, yeah. um, so, you know, so from there, from Agro America, which is a large um, employer here within Georgetown County, yeah. a care pharmacy. So, you know, we just want to thank them for, you know, supporting St. James. And um, this is a labor of love. We put a lot of time and effort into this. It's not yeah. just me. I have wonderful colleagues. I have community health workers. Um, I have just uh, management who actually goes to bat to pull this off because it's a huge production. Um, yeah. We'll have a gaming truck for the kids. And, you know, we really uh, try to cover our, our bases is making sure that community is represented. And so that's a part of what I do, going into the community and seeing what's going on um, and yeah. kind of the ears and eyes and bringing that back and say, well, hey, I think we should do it in Andrews this year. Right. Um, our school has already started. Uh, this will be an association with a school back to school fairs, you can say, because there will be school supplies too, yeah. um, along with fresh vegetables. I am a big, big stickler for that. Um, yeah. And so I like to actually be able to give away, or we like to be able to give away um, mm -hmm. in partnership with those grocery stores, fresh produce and fresh veggies. Um, that's important. As a healthcare center, we want to promote good eating habits. Right. So, um, you know, I'm asking for everyone to come out. And so we want you to make St. James your patient medical home. Uh, we serve all individuals, uh, right. whether you have insurance or not. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that's an important thing, too, you know, because, you know, a lot of people, unfortunately, you know, can't, you know, have like insurance and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. a, a lot of times because of that, they they can't go to the doctor or they they have a fear of going to the doctor because they feel like they can't afford it. What you all are providing is just absolutely amazing, you know, for individuals that may not have it. And also just just giving people the information that they need. You know, Tamika, growing up, um, you know, in the city of New Orleans, we didn't have like some of these things that you all are offering, you know, like you, you had to kind of, they say, get it how you live, you know, but yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, you, what you all are doing, you know, for the community, like you, you mentioned like Cinco de Mayo uh, back in May, uh, you know, some of the other events like, you know, in, in Georgetown. I mean, not only are you all are affecting everyone 
in a community. And I think St. James Health, Health and Wellness is doing an outstanding job with that. But I, I do want to uh, ask you about, you know, some of the responses of the vendors and stuff like mm -hmm. that. You know, how has the response been like when you all are, are doing these different events? Mm -hmm. Like, what is the re the response? Uh, uh, you know, and, and is it is it complicated to to get assistance or do people welcome St. James Health and Wellness with open arms? You know, I'm a go getter. So mm -hmm. I'm knocking on doors. I'm making phone calls. Um, you know, I, I have a really, really great support uh, system, yep. really great management team. And so mm -hmm. we all work cohesively together. And right. so what I don't know, I piggyback on a, a fellow co-worker and vice versa. Um, but once we finish one event, we go straight into the next event. There mm -hmm. is really a uh, little downtime uh, before the planning process uh, actually starts because these events are huge. Right. And, um, you know, it's all about good communication and being consistent and, and not only just having events, but also being a participator when right. other organizations have their events. And so you're, you're showing um, good faith, I like to call it. And right. so this is where I saw you at St. Andrew's AME, you mm -hmm. know, so you, you network, you, uh, you make those connections and you stay in, in the know of what's going on and you'd be supportive to their events as well. So for me, I really don't have a lot of pushback. Uh, you know, sometimes around this time of the year, there's so many events going on right. where, you know, maybe organizations can't come because they're already committed. Um, but most of the times, um, I, I'm, I'm happy to say that my response is when I put a call out, um, usually within 24 to 48 hours, I'm getting yes, confirmation, oh, um, emails, and notices. And that makes my heart really, really happy because yeah. um, I really believe in these events and what we do. And um, it's all about actually getting folks to come out and seek treatment, um, you know, and to just engage with community. And so sometimes they may walk by a blood pressure table and just kind of look. And so right. maybe I can say, hey, you want to get your blood pressure checked? And they may look at some of the different screenings, but may not come out or they may feel kind of hesitant. And so you have to be able to engage with everyone. Right. Um, just talk to them and just say, you know, this is free. Come on out, yeah. you know, try it. And so when I have other vendors like Thailand's Health or Diabetes uh, Core Group um, who has so graciously uh, said that maybe they won't be able to attend on Saturday, but they will give us uh, monitors for those individuals who have diabetes. And so right. it's things like that where we, we work together to um, to share and bless the community. Um, and so it, it's a team effort. And so right. the nonprofits of Georgetown, you know, they rock even Charleston counties. So, yeah. you know, it's not just I, you know, focus on Georgetown, but I reach out to Berkeley County or Charleston County. And hey, this is what we're doing down here. Right. Um, you want to come out. And uh, my response is normally pretty good. Yeah. And that's awesome to hear. You know, it's good that, you know, you can make a phone call and, and people yeah. are quick to respond because it just shows you, you know, how much they, they care about what you all are doing and they yeah. want to support it. And uh, also just the, just the people, you know, like I said, um, we got opportunity to come to the Seco de Mayo event uh, at uh, Georgetown at the park. I mean, it was a beautiful day. It was a beautiful, a beautiful atmosphere. And, you know, people were asking questions and it was amazing, like just seeing people, you know, rally around the tent and, you know, and try to provide information. You know, um, what was it always this way for St. James Health and Wellness or was it one of those situations that, you know, you had to gain the trust of the community, you know, because sometimes in like smaller communities, mm -hmm. when you're providing health information, you know, sometimes, you know, people are kind of skeptical. They're wondering what's the catch. Right. But uh, yeah. you all, you know, you all are right there in, within the community. How has the response been as far as the people of the community? Sure. I think you have to be consistent again and engage. Um, I think that you have to just kind of show up. Um, so we have a great uh, media expertise, Mr. James Holloway, who's wonderful mm -hmm. with our media, um, our flyers, our Facebook, our social media page. Um, and so for me, um, I wear many hats, but if I'm in the grocery store, you can always approach me. Um, I really try to make myself available. Right. Um, sometimes I may get in a little trouble for that because I'm, I'm, I'm almost too accessible sometimes, <laughs> but I believe in what I'm doing. I believe right. in the mission of St. James. Right. And so, uh, you know, 
I, for me, we have so many great resources in Georgetown, um, in addition to St. James. And so it's all about educating and enlightening those individuals. So that may mean just having a conversation at, at a gas station. Right. That may mean if I'm getting lunch and someone asks me a question, you know, to go ahead and speak about what we're doing or yeah. how can we assist you. Um, right. Again, because we treat you, even if you have insurance, if you don't have insurance, it's all about coming in. So I really want folks to understand, you know, what St. James is. You know, we are a federally qualified healthcare center. Um, and we're here. What makes us different is we're in the community. Um, right. You know, somebody like me, I'm your outreach coordinator. Or right. we have, you know, community health workers who go into the homes. So we really try to have an intimate relationship with our patients and potential patients. Um, right. There's so many great services that we offer. Um, and one being uh, treating our patients on a sliding scale. So, you know, you come in and again, we talked about this last year, which is I'll take a loved one to the doctor initiative. That's right. still in place. And so, you know, I have them in my car, you know, just, hey, come to your doctor. And so we're still promoting that until the end of the year. Um, you know, it, it's all about communication and just really being accessible. Yeah. I mean, showing yourself uh, available and also showing that you care is, is is very, very important. Once again, you all do a, a really good job in that. And it's just amazing to see, like, just how many people just come out there. And like I said, just just willing to, you know, get the information and, and try to get themselves on that road to better help. You know, I was uh, I walked out by a, a tent. Uh, when we were in Georgetown, I'm just, you know, seeing people, you know, asking a different questions, you know, the, you know, what, you know, what tests they can take, you know, people were mm -hmm. out there, you know, trying to get vaccinated, stuff like that, you know, and it was just an amazing sight to see, you know, so many people out there just trying to get that information and enjoying uh, what you all have to offer. And I, I feel like this event this weekend, Tamika, will be no exception, uh, yeah. is in conjunction with a National Health Center Week. Uh, yep. Before we get into uh, the actual event, tell us a little bit about National Health Center Week. Uh, what's that all about? Sure. National Health Center Week, um, every August, the National Association of Community Health Centers uh, mm -hmm. sponsors National Health Center Week. And it's to celebrate and increase the awareness of health centers uh, across America. We have about 1,400, I believe, of community health centers. Mm -hmm. And so this is an opportunity for us to highlight um, our commitment and our passion for the community. And pretty much, you know, this is when we really go all out and uh, we celebrate all the great things that we've done this year um, and what we're about to do for next year. And it's just a way for us to pretty much say, hey, we're here, we're part of this community and, right. um, you know, we're making a difference. And uh, we want uh, patients to come in, we want individuals to come in and seek treatment, um, whether that is from a um, having a provider or just having a medical home provider, whether it's mental health services. Um, so we pretty much cover everything. And um, we want you to be aware of what we do um, and why we do it. So what makes St. James special is like our board of directors, uh, that's pretty much um, a large part of it is patient centered. So the right. members of our boards are a part of our patient um, clientele as well. So right. it's things like, like that. Um, so we just really go above and beyond uh, the call of duty. Um, and I just can't, I can't express enough how passionate I am. And I believe that my, our staff feels that way too. Um, we're committed to what we do. We really are. We have a great leadership and uh, we've been around for over 40 years and we're mm -hmm. looking to be around for 40 more years or, <laughs> or longer and to expand um, our services possibly to other surrounding counties. Um, but right now, you know, we're just committed um, to to what we do. Yeah. And and that's a that's a wonderful thing. Like I said St. James Health and Wellness uh, always uh, providing information and, and definitely uh, about community. Uh, yeah. But in this event, the Children's Health Fair, I got the flyer right here. It's uh, yeah. Saturday, August 12th, uh, of course, 2023 from 11 a.m. to 3 uh, yes. We we kind of went through a little bit at the beginning of the interview, but mm -hmm. just just uh, let's let's just go ahead and uh, talk a little bit more about you know some of the the vendors that are going to be out there, uh, mm -hmm. and also just uh, some of the things that people can take part in. 
Sure, sure. We'll have Georgetown Park and Rec. They will be in, in attendance, which I'm really happy about that, to share their resources along with Georgetown County uh, Fire and EMS. So the fire truck will be there. Georgetown County um, Sheriff's Department will have their snow cone machine. Of course, I stated Miss Ruby's Kids and Black River United, um, mm -hmm. all about uh, education even more and, and reading is fundamental. So I'm happy about them. Tideland's Health. Uh, we have a Mother's Touch uh, that is from the Waynesburg County but she's a mentoring organization. And so she will be in attendance with us. Um, so we have some food trucks. We have uh, the gaming truck uh, that's coming. So I know the kids are gonna love that. Uh, Michelle's uh, mobile gaming uh, truck or his uh, unit will be out there. So that's gonna be uh, fun. Uh, we have a family justice center. So, you know, I don't wanna, when I start naming names, I don't wanna forget anybody, everybody, um, is loved um, that I have communicated <laughs> with all of the vendors. I am just excited to see everybody. And, um, you know, you don't want to miss it. Uh, if you miss it, you're going to hear about it. So, you know, when St. James does events, it's either in my mind, it's go big or go home. Right. So we do it with excellence. Um, we are excited. And again, uh, the entire staff of St. James is a part of this. It's not just me. I'm here today, but um, you best believe that it takes many, many people uh, behind the scenes to make uh, this event, this whole week of events, a success. Um, on Thursday, we'll have our stakeholders come and have lunch with us. So we're excited to see them um, and to share information about what we have coming up in the fall, um, in the winter months. So it's just an exciting time. Um, bring your kids out, you know, um, let them fellowship. So there'll be, uh, of course, the screenings that I stated earlier. Uh, there'll be some giveaways, school supplies. We've been in contact with all the schools, not all, but Andrews Elementary, Rosemary, Andrews High. I'm speaking with the principals there. And so they've um, been instrumental in letting parents know about this event as well. So mm -hmm. we're anticipating a great crowd. Um, we do have extra large tents uh, for the heat. We have misting fans to keep you <laughs> cool. Um, so we've tried to really think about um, what's going to make uh, the attendees comfortable and happy and really trying to um, engage with them. And, uh, you know, St. James uh, needs to be a medical home provider. So yep. that, that's what I would say about this event and why we're, we're pushing it uh, really, really hard. Um, good health. Good yep. health. Yeah, good health is extremely important. You know, um, you, you talked about, you know, diabetes. Uh, I'm a type one diabetic. I found out what back in 2018, you know, and okay. yeah, I, I understand like how much of a, a life change that can actually be. But yeah. uh, the best thing about it is, you know, um, getting that information that you needed. You know, mm -hmm. I, I was I was nervous to me, you know, you know, being a clean bill of health. Man, I was, you know, known for being athletic and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And all, you know, everything seemed to be working fine. And mm -hmm. all of a sudden that happens. But I was so happy to get the information that I needed. Uh, from, you know, trusted uh, health professionals. Uh, I mean, some of the information, I, I'll tell you this, I think that you all were out at PD Park one day and I was talking with you. I think that's when we met for the first time. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of the things that you talked to me about, you know, I, I went back and I, I learned a lot about, you know, what I was dealing with and mm -hmm. the food that I, I need to eat. And, you know, it really helped me to be on the road, you know, to, you know, to better health at St. James Health and Wellness and providing that information and helping people uh, stay happy and healthy. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I think um, when an individual is healthy, then we have healthy communities. Right. And so, you know, so now this is children's health fair, but of mm -hmm. course the parents have to bring the children too. So right. you know, there'll be uh, screenings for the adults as well. So it's a whole holistic approach. It's for right. everybody. There's something at this health fair for everyone um right. no matter the age uh no matter um you know your ethnicity come out um get the education get the resources um the georgetown county uh provides because there's a lot there's a lot of great information and so yep. this is like your one-stop shop uh for all you know there'll be um other events but um i know that andrews is going to show up and show out um yeah. you know i you know I've been in Andrews quite extensively for the past, <laughs> um, not just myself, 
but uh, a lot of uh, the, the team. So right. other outreach uh, workers and community health workers, we have canvassed the area. So from you know gas stations to grocery stores to you, you'll see a flyer. So yeah. just asking, hey, come out, come out. So uh, the word is out. And so yeah. we're expecting a great crowd and um, just a great time. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, make sure that you come out to the Children's Health Fair uh, sponsored by St. James Health and Wellness uh, in conjunction with National Health Center Week, Saturday, August 12, 411 East Main Street in Andrews, South Carolina. St. James yeah. Health and Wellness, make sure you come out, enjoy yourself. Uh, they got ways to beat the heat. They got the, they got some snow cones out there. They got a misting fan. Like, what more can you ask for? <laughs> but uh, to, yeah, but yeah, but Tamika, thank thank you so much for uh, stopping by. Talk to us a little bit about the event. I'm pr- yeah, I know it's going to be a great event because you all uh, first class and you do uh, you you do such an amazing job, and uh, we're looking forward to it. Thank you, TJ. And thank you for what you do for the community as well. Looking forward to seeing you and um, stay cool. All Thank right, you. I'll try to. You do the same. Take care. Bye-bye.